welcome to our chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic atomic structure in atomic structure topic i am going to discuss about heisenberg's uncertainty principle in upset je mains and neat point of view in my previous videos in this atomic structure topic i have discussed about bohr's theory hydrogen spectrum quantum numbers de broglie's dual nature of matter in upset je mains and neat point of view so uh, uh, this video uh, first i will like in this video and first i will explain what is heisenberg's uncertainty principle and uh, i am going to discuss how bits are going to ask in upset je mains and neat point of view thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so we know that bohr's atomic theory bohr's atomic theory theory considers bohr's atomic theory considers an electron as an electron as material particle an electron as material particle bohr's theory considers an electron as a material particle so if it is considered as only material particle its position and momentum its position and momentum can be determined can be determined accurately and simultaneously accurately and simultaneously but according to de broglie's dual nature of matter dual nature of matter or dual nature of electron like light deep what de broglie was proposed de broglie proposed that de broglie proposed that an electron like light like light like light behaves as both material particle material particle and wave particle and wave particle so according to de broglie's an electron was considered like light an electron like light behaves behaves both as material particle and as a wave particle material particle and as a wave particle so if if we consider the wave nature of electron if we consider the wave nature of electron so wave nature of electron it's it is not possible to determine the position and momentum position and momentum of a micro particles like electron simultaneously and accurately so why we cannot why we cannot right if we consider the wave nature if we consider the wave nature if we consider the wave nature of electron its position and momentum cannot be determined accurately and simultaneously so why to locate the electron to locate the electron what we have to do we have to pass radiation we have to pass the radiation so if we pass the radiation with extremely short wavelength then its momentum changes its momentum changes so if that's why its position and momentum cannot be determined accurately and simultaneously so to explain this de broglie sorry heisenberg proposed an uncertainty principle that uncertainty principle states that according to this heisenberg's uncertainty principle it is impossible to according to heisenberg's uncertainty principle it is impossible to impossible to determine the, determine the position and momentum position and momentum impossible to determine the position and momentum of micro particles such as electron simultaneously and accurately simultaneously and accurately it is impossible to determine the it is impossible to determine the 
position and the momentum of a body, momentum of a micro particles such as electron simultaneously and accurately. That is, if position is measured, that is, if position is measured accurately, if position is measured accurately, there is an uncertainty in its moment. In its momentum. If position is measured accurately, there is an uncertainty in its momentum and vice versa. And vice versa. That is, if position is measured accurately, there is uncertainty in its momentum. Similarly, if momentum is measured accurately, there is an uncertainty in its position. So, position and momentum of a micro particle such as electron cannot be determined simultaneously and accurately. So, this is the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So, uh, mathematical, mathematical uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle ni, yala explain just now on taken country. Mathematical Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is explained as Delta X into delta of T is greater than or equal to H by Z. So this is the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, where delta X is the uncertainty in position. Uncertainty in the position. Whereas delta P is uncertainty in the momentum. Uncertainty in the momentum. And H is Planck's constant. And pi, we know that it is 22 by 7. H is Planck's constant. Delta X is the uncertainty in the position. Delta P is the uncertainty in the moment. Uncertainty in the moment. So this is the one form, mathematical form of the Heisenberg's uncertainty. So we know that momentum is the mass into velocity. Then delta P for a particle, M into delta. If I, if I substitute those values, M into Delta V is greater than H by 4 pi. So, delta X into delta V is greater than H by 4 pi. So, where delta X is uncertainty in the position, delta V is the uncertainty in the velocity. Uncertainty in the velocity. M is the mass of the particle. So, this is the another form of another form of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Another form of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. There is a one more form. So, in IPE point of view, IPE point lo choose the kanakan, ye rundu forms se sarpati, yok form sarpati. Right? So, yok well, four marks kadi te kanaka, statement rasi delta x into delta p is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi and rasi, terms explain just the sarpati. Can objective point of view monkey E formula for our delta X into delta V is greater than or equal to H by 4 pi M, where delta X is the uncertainty in the position, delta V is the uncertainty in the uncertainty in the momentum, uncertainty in the momentum, and the M is the mass of the particle, H is the Planck's constant. So we know that momentum is equal to mass into velocity. We know that momentum is equal to mass into velocity. Then what I am doing is, I am multiplying with uh, time, t, t is the time. Then we know that V by T is nothing but acceleration into T, where MA is nothing but force, force into time, force into time, right? Mass into velocity, we know that, and I am multiplying and dividing with the time T. Then we know that V by T is nothing but acceleration. So, for mass into acceleration, F is equal to MA. That's why force I am writing. So, momentum is equal to, momentum P is equal to force into time. Now, I am multiplying this momentum with distance. Into force into distance into time. Force into distance into time. So, we know that force into distance. Force into Distance is nothing but force into distance is nothing but energy. 
energy into time. So, now I am concluding delta P into delta X is nothing but delta E into delta. Delta E into delta. So, if I substitute in place of delta X into delta P, how I can write delta E into delta P is greater than H by 4. So, this is the another form of, this is another form of, in, in, the, in terms of energy and time, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So, these mood formulas are made up of the bitter out on the statement that bitter out on the Kaukasa Mundi. Yala was the Now, let me discuss. Right? So, one of the questions uncertainty. Uncertainty in position and momentum. Uncertainty in position and momentum are equal. Are equal. Then uncertainty. Then uncertainty. Uncertainty in the velocities. In the velocity is. Options is given as square root of h by 5, b is h by 2 pi, c is 1 by 2 m into square root of h by 5, then b is. So now question is uncertainty in the position, uncertainty in position and momentum are equal. Uncertainty in the position and momentum are equal. Then Uncertainty in the velocities. Uncertainty in the velocities. Now let me solve it. So given that solution delta x is equal to delta. Now we know that delta x into delta p is greater than h by 4 pi. Now in place of delta x what I can write delta p is greater than h by 4. So, delta P whole square is greater than h by 4. Now, we know that P is equal to mv. Delta P is equal to m into delta P. So, if I substitute m square, delta V square is greater than h by 4 pi m, 4 pi, right? Then, delta V square is greater than h by 4 pi m square. Then, delta V is greater than square root of h by 4 pi m square. Then it is nothing but 1 by 2 m into square root of h by 4 pi. So, in doing problems, we use it to take equal to, that's why it is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi m. That's why answer is 1 by 2 m into square root of h by 5. So, uncertainty in the position and momentum are equal, then uncertainty in the velocity is, this is the question. Now, how we have solved given that delta x in is equal to delta p. According to Eisenberg's uncertainty principle, we know that delta x into delta p is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi. While solving numericals, please remember, while solving numericals, we have to take is equal to, that's why delta x into delta p is greater than h by is equal to. Right? So, uh, in place of delta x, I have written delta p. Delta p square is equal to h, greater than is equal to h, is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi. We know that P is equal to M. So, this is the one question. Now, let me discuss one more. Now, next question is, if uncertainty in the position is zero, uncertainty in the momentum of an electron will be. The solution is, we know that delta X into delta P is greater than or equal to H by 4 pi. So, while solving numericals, in few seconds ago also I discussed, Manam solve J setup is equal to this point on Delta P is equal to H by 4 pi into 1 by delta X. So, H by 4 pi into 1 by 0. He has given that uncertainty in the position is 0. So, delta P is becoming infinite. So, answer is the infinite. Right? If we uncertainty in the position is 0, uncertainty in the momentum of electron will be. So, this is the second. Now, let me discuss one more bit. Uncertainty in... Uncertainty in position. Uncertainty in position 
of an electron of an electron of a particle of a particle of mass 25 grams of mass 25 grams in species in species 10 to the power of minus 5 moles uncertainty uncertainty in its in its velocity is in its velocity is options were given 2.1 into 10 to the power of minus 34 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 34 c is 2.1 into 10 to the power of minus 28 and d is of 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 23 so velocity in meters per second in meters per second is in meters per second is uncertainty in the position of a particle of mass 25 grams in space is 10 to the power of minus 5 in space is 10 to the power of minus 5 then uncertainty in uncertainty in its velocity is uncertainty in its velocity is we know that delta x into delta v is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi m delta x into delta v is equal to h by 4 pi m so uh, the previous in previous bit also i told by solving numericals we have to take is equal to delta x into delta v is equal to h by 4 pi m so given that delta v is equal to h by 4 pi m into 1 by delta x we know that h is the planck's constant into 10 to the power of minus 34 joules second by 4 into 22 by 7 into mass is given that mass is given that 25 grams mass is given that 25 grams into mass is given that 25 grams into then the velocity is given 25 into 10 to the power sorry 25 grams so we have to take it into into cages 25 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg into delta x is given that delta x is given that 10 to the power of minus 10 to the power of minus 4. so if we substitute we will get 2.1 into 10 to the power of minus 28 meters per second meters per second so here mass we have to take in cages as it is given in grams we know that 1000 grams is equal to 1 kg 25 grams becomes 25 by 1000 into 1 so 25 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Right. So this is uncertainty in the position of a particle of mass 25 grams in space is 10 to the power of minus 5 meters. Uncertainty means velocity is. So in this way, questions will be asked from this topic Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Thank you for watching Trinath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.